I also bought some books. <laughs> everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel today we have another reading vlog it is a thursday evening when i'm starting this um and i'm gonna vlog until sunday so we're gonna see how many books i read over the weekend but also thursday and friday evening i posted a video on my tiktok recently that kind of went a little bit crazy um, and it was how many pages i read in a week i've done a few of these over on my book talk because i notoriously read many many books <laughs> A month. I read 27 books in March and so far we are eight days into April and I've already read 14 books this month. So yeah, absolutely unhinged. Do I have too much time on my hands? No. I work a full-time job and I only read in the evenings after 6 37 p.m. I have my full weekends free. I keep my weekends free for reading most of the time. So Saturday and Sunday I will read from 10 a.m. till midnight. Obviously I'll stop for food and like little breaks but once my brain is sort of in concentration mode that's it like I'll just be sitting and reading non-stop. So I thought that we'd do a little vlog this week and see how many books I read. I have calculated that I on average read 100 pages in an hour so if a book has like three or four hundred pages it usually will take me three to four or so hours and that's usually how I, I track it so if I've got five hours free in the evening after work to read a book I would probably start and finish that book that's that's just how I read I personally like to binge my books and I'm very picky with what books I will read I have to be in like a specific mood for them and it's usually because like I want to have a good read once I pick it up I don't want to put it down I want to be enthralled in what is happening in like the world so I'm very selective with what books I pick and I usually don't pick bad books I have not DNF'd anything this year so far so the goal is to read these books here and anything else is an added bonus I have two series that I want to complete so I think we should just jump straight into the reading vlog now yeah, let's do that. I have just had one of the most exciting parcels arrive. I decided to take the plunge and I bought a Kindle. When I order things or buy myself stuff, I just buy them and I don't like sit by waiting for it to come and getting excited. I feel like waiting for this has felt like Christmas day. I kept checking my emails and my tracking. I just wanted to have this. I am so excited. So we're gonna set it up. I've got Kindle Unlimited for two months and then I'm gonna pay for it anyways because I was having a look on my TBR and it turns out that out of the like 112 books that I've added to my like want to read list, over 60 of them are free on Kindle Unlimited and the rest are like 99 pence or a couple pounds. So I thought getting a Kindle is probably gonna be the most economical option for me, but my preferred way of reading is still paperback. So I'm still gonna buy my big fantasy series in like paperback and hardcovers for my shelves because I know that the books that I'm gonna love and like five star reads, I'll want to have physical copies of to reread. Um, I've also ordered uh, sticky tabs and then like highlighting tape because I cannot write on my books guys, I cannot highlight on them, that's not me, but I do want to go back and tab and highlight certain bits. Oh, who am I becoming? <laughs> I'm fully turning into a book girly, but anyways, I'm excited for this. And also because I have a very small bookshelf, if I'm reading 20 plus books a month, I've already started to run out of space, let's be honest. So a Kindle is just gonna be the way forward for me. So let's set this up and open it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Um, I went with the Kindle Paperwhite Signature. This one is the 32 gigs. I know everyone says you don't need that many, but like I read so many books. I don't know how long it will take me to fill up, probably maybe years, especially if I'm using Kindle Unlimited so everything like doesn't stay on the Kindle forever. I was also mainly cautious about my upcoming summer holiday and how I'm going to take like 15 books in my suitcase so this has solved that problem for me. I of course also bought a pop socket. This is a little moon and sun one and then a just a clear case for it and I ordered stickers but they've not arrived yet. I hope they start to arrive like tomorrow so I can decorate this. Okay so I opened my Kindle and I've actually just put it on charge straight away. It did have some battery and I know it lasts ages but I want it to be fully charged when I used it so that's on charge and in the meantime we're gonna finish Legendary because we've not got too much to read like I'll do this in one sitting so we're gonna sit and finish reading this while the Kindle charges. I also bought some books. I have seen Lightlark and Nightbane 
all over my TikTok and I follow Alex, the author on TikTok as well. All of the edits that she posts of the book um, and things about the books, I'm just like, I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna wanna read that. And then I actually had a dream about the main characters in these books. I've not even read the books. I had a dream about the characters from a the TikToks that I had seen and I woke up the next morning and I was like, I need to order these books. <laughs> I can't be dreaming about characters of a book series I've never even read. It was the wildest thing. So obviously I went straight onto Waterstones because they're hard covers. If you got a Waterstones membership for every 10 pounds you spend, you get a point. I think I've got like five or six points on my account already and when you hit 10 you get a free 10 pound to spend which is like essentially a free book so anytime i want to get my hard covers i'll usually just buy them from waterstones because because it goes towards my points so i ordered these and they are beautiful do you see these covers i think they're absolutely gorgeous and i know nightbane is the one that everyone's like freaking out over on tiktok so i'm gonna want to like read them quickly <laughs> i'll probably be finished these on saturday it's thursday evening right now we're gonna finish legendary and then read light lark but then also maybe something on the kindle as well on my goodreads i spent last night going through my want to read list and i made two different shelves one of my like physical tbr books i've got to read and then one of kindle books and i went through every single book on my want to read and checked to see how much it costs on kindle the majority of them are free on kindle unlimited so i have like a little list of like kindle unlimited books that i want to read so that's what we're doing let's read this Yesterday I finished Legendary and instead of jumping straight into Finale, I said I was going to start Light Lark and I did and I got 71% of the way through last night. <laughs> I am flying through this guys. Honestly, I don't want to speak too soon because I'm only just under 300 pages in and it's 400 and something. But I am obsessed. Like I've not been able to put this book down and I can't stop thinking about it. And I genuinely think, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to say it's going to be a five star read, but that's how I feel right now. There is going to be nothing about the book so far that I haven't enjoyed or that I would change. And apparently the second one is supposed to be even better, which I don't know. Like I just love this. I honestly feel like this is going to be my new favorite fantasy book saga. I just can't get enough. I've not read like a good five star book in a while. I've read a lot of four stars and a lot of three. So I'm just like so excited about this. The only reason that I heard of this book is because I saw like one or two TikToks of this and then I followed the author on TikTok and since my for you page has been like flooded. But like outside of that, I haven't really seen or heard anyone talk too much about this and I don't understand why I think this needs to be hyped up more like everyone needs to go and read Light Lark now. <laughs> so I think I'm going to finish this and then read Night Bane tonight because I have to, I have to know what happens. I love when a book makes you feel that way when you want to jump straight into the whole thing and find out what happens next. But if you haven't heard about Light Lark, I think it's a romanticy. Every 100 years, the six leaders come together, try and break the curse that's been placed on Light Lark. And it's a deadly curse that affects each leader. And they're all like magically gifted in some way, it affects them, their people, their powers. I feel like it has everything that a fantasy book I love holds. Like the way that the book is set out is kind of similar to The Hunger Games, kind of similar to Powerless in the sense that like a group of people come together and then they have like challenges and, and trials and things to get through. Instead of killing each other to survive, they're like trying to undo this curse. This romance feels like there's gonna be a love triangle enemies to lovers except the enemy has fallen like head over heels the first time he met <laughs> the main female character which is just like obsessed so i'm gonna read it
wow i honestly have no words the last like 30 pages was just plot twist after plot twist and not at all what i thought was coming that just like threw me through a loop oh my goodness i loved this <laughs> oh my god i i need to know what happens next i have to read the next one five stars i don't care five stars this is five stars this is wow oh my god i need a minute to process that guys <laughs> Obviously I read Light Lark last night and then I also read Night Bane. I finished Night Bane just now, this morning, it's the next day. What in the hell? These are some of my new favorite books, five star reads. Absolutely obsessed. I will say though, like, I think because everyone was saying like, just you wait until you get to Night Bane, like, oh my God, like the plot twist, like you, it's it's even crazier than Light Lark. I think I was expecting more. So when I got to the ending, I was like, whoa, but I was also like, oh, okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be or like intense. So I actually think I preferred Light Lark. I don't know, because I had no idea what this was going to be going into it. I was so pleasantly surprised. I loved how it was written in a different format from the first one. Flicking between like past memories and then the present day. And I had no idea where it was going, but shocked. I need the third one. There has to be a third one coming, right? Anyways, these are my new favourite books and I'm not going to shut up about them. And I'm also going to start Finale next because I need a little bit of a palette cleanser before I can jump straight into another fantasy. Honestly, the adrenaline that's been going through my body the last 12 hours from reading these, I, <laughs> I need a moment. So we're going to start Finale now. Let's crack on. I do want to read this whole thing tonight, <laughs> so I want to go through this quickly. morning and I have finished the Caraval series. I finished Finale last night and I have to say it was my favourite book out of all of them. The way that book one was written it was focusing on one of the sisters Scarlet and then book two was focusing on the other sister Donatella but then book three it had like equal amounts of both of them which is why I think I liked it. It like brought everything at the end together quite nicely and I have to say like I really enjoyed this series. It wasn't my favourite series ever but I'm very glad I read it. It was like I said different a good palette cleanser and it's not like a book series I've read before so I enjoyed it for that but is it like the best series I've ever read no would I recommend it yes especially if you want to read Once Upon a Broken Heart after I finished finale I picked up Once Upon a Broken Heart and I thought that I would just read a couple chapters and I spent the rest of my evening I read the whole book yesterday as well so that was three books I read yesterday which is a bit mental and I have the second one to start, I haven't started it, but the way that this one ended, I, f I feel like these, these books are gonna be left on cliffhangers. I've got the second one, I don't have the third because I didn't wanna buy it in hardcover when I have the paperbacks. The paperback version of the third book doesn't come out until June, I think. So I might read it on my Kindle after I finish book two, if that's gonna be a cliffhanger, and then buy the paperback when it comes in, but I loved this. You have to read Caraval before you read Once Upon a Broken Heart. The main male character, Jax, in this book is from Legendary and Finale. He's one of the main characters sort of in Caraval, but like from book two onwards. And then the world building, where everything's set and like the activities that happen in here, like the plot points, are all referenced at the start of this book and are connected. So like you read Caraval, Legendary, Finale, and then if you go into Once Upon a Broken Heart, it's the exact same timeline, like it progresses. So I feel like you could pick this up and just read it, not have read Caraval, and I don't think it would be as enjoyable because you're missing so much of the background and the world building and like the history and the references but I would say that like this book alone to me is better than like the whole series like this is so good but this is the background for it. I'm very glad I listened to everyone on TikTok who said to read Caraval first but like this this is so good. It is young adult and obviously like Once Upon a Broken Heart it's very like fairy tale but not in like a, a normal way it's fun. I don't know how to explain but yeah this was really good. I'm excited to see what happens next so I'm going to continue reading today and start with the second book uh, this is this is fun <laughs> this 
I actually finished it like 20 minutes earlier than I thought I would, which is great. I feel like there is more plot twists and surprises in these than they were in Caraval, which is like crazy, but I still think I'm gonna say four stars like the last one. I didn't think it was better or worse than the last one. I think I, I, I like them equally. I was gonna start a new fantasy series today. I probably will later this evening, but after the plot twist of that ending, as I knew was gonna happen, these, you know, Stephanie loves a good plot twist. We were starting the first Kindle book because obviously I just got this the other day. So we're gonna read our first Kindle book. I've just shoved stickers in here that are falling. I have more stickers coming tomorrow, so we'll decorate the Kindle properly tomorrow, but I need to know what happens, so I bought the book on Kindle. <laughs> and the book on Kindle actually costs more than the paperback that I pre-ordered, but I don't care. I have to know what happens. So we're gonna use the Kindle for the first time. How exciting. And everyone always says that you read faster on the Kindle. Okay, yeah, no, this says that it will take six hours and 43 minutes to read, but this had more pages and took me three hours to read so um at the moment i am averaging like a hundred pages an hour which i know is fast that's not that's above the average but my dad is a very fast reader he reads books even faster than i do i think that's where i get it from him i I've, I've always just been really fast at reading that's one reason i'm excited to have my kindle is so i can uh have more books to read especially with kindle unlimited just more economical for my bank account, but um, also a lot more options available for me to read because I go through books so quickly. So let's start reading. the book yesterday evening. I read it in like three or so hours like I thought. Oh my god, it was my favourite. I definitely think that that one was five stars. It was my favourite out of all the Once Upon a Broken Heart books. I don't know, I just thought it was the perfect ending to the trilogy. There is absolutely nothing about that book that I would change and I'm so happy with how everything came together in the end. After reading Caraval, I wasn't sure if I'd love them if they were going to be like similar. It was just such a nice story done well. So yeah, that was that was really nice. I can't wait for my paperback to come. I have pre-ordered that. So when it arrives, I'm probably going to reread the trilogy again. I just think it's so special and the books are so pretty. I can't wait to put them on my bookshelf. How nice are these? I honestly thought that I preferred the US cover versions of these, but now reading it, no, I'm like, I love this. This is perfect for the story. So I can't wait for the third one to arrive and have that be a part of my like bookcase collection. But yeah, that is all the reading I did this week. I think the total for this vlog is seven books. So from Thursday to Sunday, I read seven books, which is not too bad. Last week, I read nine and a half books and five novellas, which was ridiculously unhinged, but that was because it was the bank holiday for Easter. So I had four full days of reading and I read the entire Shatter Me series. This is pretty much a normal, a typical week of reading for me and I obviously like to spend my free time reading so if you enjoyed this you want to see more book related content and vlogs then make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.